Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And surprise, 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 a surprise to be sure, uh, High Guardian Spice seems to exist. It's not dead. It's not dead yet. And it seems that I they're, didn't think it was. they're gonna make an announcement sometime this summer, according to creator Ray Rodriguez on Twitter. And I gotta give a hat tip to Charza Kitsune for sending me the link that uh, Ray put out that there are, you know, there's gonna be an announcement about High Guardian Spice. Now we're one of the few channels that actually covers High Guardian mm -hmm. Spice. It was announced a couple of years ago as the very first Crunchyroll original, and it did uh, irritate some people. It did. Uh, the announcement irritated people because we didn't see any animation of the show. We didn't hear much about the show itself. Instead, what Crunchyroll and Elation did was put a trailer out that was kind of like a Kickstarter trailer, talking about all the diverse people working on the show. And not about the show. Not about the show itself. No animation. We saw some designs or whatever. And then what happened, was that uh, people were angry because they were being told that Crunchyroll was going to take its its uh, funds. They were jacking up their rates and they were going to take money and actually pay Japanese production studios better. And instead, it looked like they were funneling the money into original Western programming mm -hmm. and people were pissed. Uh, so that was two or three years ago. We heard very little about We know that production wrapped on it. Yes. Uh, we know that a lot of people moved on to other things. We also know a pilot, at least a pilot exists because it was being screened. And one of the people who saw it came to us and to be completely objective, said the animation was actually very, very good. But before we get into any further, before I got to cut you off because you're going to keep going unless I do. Before we get to any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views yeah. and rants, guys. Uh, we're at 188,000 subs. We've grown quite a bit since we talked about High Guardian Spice back in the day. Yes. And uh, we do cover the animation industry. We cover animation, cover pop culture, everything going on. And we kind of just talk about whatever interests us. And we are one of the few. One of the very, very few people still talking about High Guardian Yeah, Spice. I keep checking on it. I actually just checked on this a couple weeks ago, and I hadn't seen anything. Now, what's interesting is they're saying that we're going to hear about it later this summer. And I have to wonder if we're going to hear about it um, at the virtual expo. Yeah. Because that would be August. Now, they're, in, they're at Anime Expo Light in, in July also. But I'm thinking they're going to probably put it in the Crunchyroll Expo. People were expecting news on it last year, the year before. We got nothing. So um, I'm betting... If we're going to hear about it, it's going to be during this. Yeah. Um, now, it could be because, you know, of course, Crunchyroll's for sale. That was another thing we reported that uh, they were looking to get rid of Crunchyroll over at Warner Media, and people said we're full of shit. Mm -hmm. They um, often say that, but, you know, hey, that. sometimes we're wrong. But Sometimes we are. But that um, doesn't happen very often. But they're attempting to sell Crunchyroll now to Sony. So it could be that they're doing this to, I guess, uh, empty out the vaults, you know, because they've already paid for this content, one mm -hmm. way or another, it's already Might as well use for. it. Might as well use it. It looks like we're still, you know, bringing out new stuff. But the thing is, is, it's so weird because this was the very first series that was announced. And right. instead, they brought other shows out. They actually greenlit other shows. And, uh, you know, they have a lot of Webtoon stuff going on and all that. But they brought out X-Arm before they brought this out. And right. X-Arm landed with the freaking thud. It's terrible. Um, yeah, so this one got buried, and I think it was because of the backlash. Because, as we said, if you go look into it, when they they tease it and they're all proud of it and they put out their, their you know, trailer, in quotes, for it, um, you got to see a little bit of the animation, but it was mostly just about, do we mention how diverse we are? We're very diverse. It's diversity. It's diversity. We can't wait for more diversity. Yeah. And um, it did it, what, what the kiss of death for these shows is, it went and made it about you know, who's behind the show and not about the, the show. And that was part of it. The other part, like you mentioned, was because people thought that with their increased, um, they raised the prices and they yeah. thought with that price increase, they were going along with it because the money was supposed to be sent over to Japan and given to those animators. And instead, it was given to people in Western studios to do a show that wasn't really much about the show. It was all about how diverse they were. And they're kind of like a little bit jack academia. So, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that was, yeah, a lot of people were kind of calling them out for that. And, I, you know, the, the biggest issue, again, you know, for a lot of people was the fact that they were taking money that they thought was going to like, you know, these, these animation studios in Japan. And it is in a roundabout way because they are having Japanese animation studios animate, you know, High Guardian Spice, I guess. 
but they thought it was going to existing productions. Like we're going to pay Things these they people wanted, And they liked and right. they watched. And said, they're like, oh, hey, we're going to do uh, brand new productions ourselves. And we're going to make sure that, uh, you know, we let you know that it's, you know, for diver for diversity and women. And, and uh, in fact, the lady in charge of the whole thing, it was the head of uh, women in animation. Yeah, salation, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, blah, blah. yeah, and it did disappear. Now, this was like, what? Two years ago, three years, three ago? years ago. Oh my gosh, it's been that long. Um, now, as I think you did mention that we had somebody come to us and they had seen it and they said that it was actually pretty good. And they saw it as part of, they had these programs that you can sign up for where you can like get points for doing different things that you can turn to gift cards. And I think it was one of those where you could review commercials or shows. Mm -hmm. And they, I think they agreed that they wouldn't talk about it. So they watched it. And they came and told us about it and gave us some plot points and different things, which we talked about. Yeah. Said it wasn't that bad. Said the animation wasn't that bad. But we know it was true. Yeah, because we had uh, Lation's lawyers reach out to us and ask us to take our video down. Nicely. They we, they couldn't get us on anything. Uh, we didn't so. sign anything. And it wasn't, we weren't showing anything. We were basically reporting what the person said to us was the plot. And apparently it must have been right. Yeah, it must have been right because we wouldn't have heard from Lation's lawyers. And then it disappeared. Now... After that happened, you know, we heard about uh, a young animator trying to pitch a diverse show to Crunchyroll, and she was saying that Crunchyroll wasn't taking pitches for diverse shows. They were basically blaming High Guardian Spice. They said because it it didn't uh, perform well with with people. Uh, apparently, the That's test audience. It sounds like why they buried it. Yeah, and you know, there was a lot of backlash about it. Meanwhile, they bring out X arm. I, I, I just, I mean, I <laughs> bring out X just arm. imagine that if if you if you show and not tell, and you make it about the actual characters and story, and not about the people behind it, you might you know get more interest. I mean, that's what happened with like things like Shira and stuff. Yeah. The reason there was so much backlash. They made it more about Noelle Stevenson and, and her and her friends and her type of people and what she wanted to be than it actually about the source material, and that caused a lot of shit. Yeah, and sometimes we find out that stuff that, uh, you know, they, they build it up, to the media builds it up to be one thing that actually isn't. And you find out that, like, well, we expected something to be completely woke and completely whatever. And it turns out it's not, you know. It's just a, it's a, a talking point. And I think to a lot clicks. Of, to get clicks. And that's what happened with Higher and Spice. I think, honestly, if they had just dropped it, just put it out there, people would be like, yeah, yeah, that's cute, whatever. Maybe not my thing. But or just in a trailer is a trailer. But that one that yeah. still got them around the fact people were mad that they were thought they were giving money to Japan directly yeah. um, and yeah. animation studios and for shows like that. So that was their first original. Um, and, and it still hasn't come out yet. Uh, but apparently they're saying it's going to it's going to come out soon. We're going to hear more information about it soon. I'm I'm assuming Crunchyroll Expo is probably one that because later this summer that makes yeah, the most probably. sense. Possibly Anime Expo light -like, because that's in July. But I'm more inclined to think they're going to do it at the Crunchyroll convention. Yeah. So um, I mean, look, we'll we'll watch it. I mean, we've like I said, we're one of the few people actually talking about. It. I, I am curious. I mean, it was interesting because you know we used to work in web comics. It's actually based on a web comic. It was one of those things where. You know, I mean, this is kind of, kind of, we talked about in animation. It, sometimes it's very easy to get a series picked up with very little uh, statistics behind it. Uh-huh. Contrary to what some people will tell you. Um, if you're it, the right kind of statistic. It, yeah. I'm just saying it because that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So a lot of times these studios, they ask you to jump through a lot of hoops and they're like, we need to see more and numbers. And even after you jump through those hoops, they try to give you more hoops to jump and through. And they keep raising the bar as a reason to effectively keep you out of an industry, whether it's comics or publishing or animation or whatever. It's like, oh, no, no, you know, you climb this mountain, but you got to climb that other one over there. Meanwhile, you see people come along and look, I'm not throwing shade at Ray Rodriguez, but the comic strip, the comic book version of, of High Guardian Spice, it wasn't even a comic book. It was a web comic that nobody had heard of. Okay. Just like Noelle Stevenson. Now, at least she had a publishing deal. But again, she came from webcomics. She already had her publishing deal before she put the webcomic out there, as I understand oh, it. Yeah, contrary to the narrative. And she had not worked in animation, but she was basically handed the reins to a classic IP at age like 23, 24, you know, without paying dues. So... People do get a little salty. But sometimes. then, meanwhile, there's people that are truly diverse people, you know, that put send pitches in. And they're not even getting them looked at because of the backlash from things like well, yeah. how they presented yeah. High Guardian Spice or Princesses of Power. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we're going to watch it. And look, we, we try to be objective on it. We, we, look, we do complain a lot about stuff. You backpedaled on a book the other day. I did. Well, because the, the media said it was one way and yeah. it turned out it wasn't. And I was like, I have to, you know, put out a review and, and tell people because I'm not going to let people think it's, it's going to be bad when it's not. Yeah. That would be really, really crappy of me. 
And that could affect their sales because the media painted it as a, a book. It was a kid's guide to fandom, and they painted it as a book that was basically telling kids how to avoid toxic fans. That's not what it was about. And that's at not all. what it was about at all. And yeah. you know, and here's my my way I look at things. I don't have to agree with you. I don't have to to like you, but. Just because I don't like you or for whatever reason doesn't mean that you're always wrong. And that gets a problem we run into in general anymore on social media, in the media, in the world, is this idea that just because I don't like you for some reason or other, you're automatically wrong. Because sometimes people have a point and you know, and I might not like you, but I will back the fact that your point is valid, and that's what happened, you know, in that situation. But you know, we don't know what's going to happen with this. I mean, we're hearing they're saying you're going to hear an announcement soon. That's how it was worded. Like yeah. it's, your announcement and more information coming soon. So we still don't even know when it's coming out. Just that we're going to hear more about it uh, sometime some, later this summer. Yeah. So, I mean, I think they'll probably, whatever they have done, again, it, they've already wrapped production on it. And I know a lot of people moved on. So I think we'll get whatever they produced, probably dumped on the crunchy roll at some point. And it might be good. Um, I mean, it might be, be sad if it was good. That's all you're going to get because, you know, every, you know, it was everything turned on it but they kind of did it themselves yeah the way they marketed it and they, they brought this up in the comments on the post was it was really did the creators dirty too because they should have just dropped the trailer showed some animation showed talked, the show not the people show the show and then oh by the way you're not watching the show for the people you're no. watching the show for the show and that's what that that's what these pr firms though because that, that again shows you that it's more now at least with the media uh, and a lot of these studios is more about what kind of person you are versus the, how good the your story result. is. Yeah. yeah, and that's not right. We want you want better things than just pick stories that are good that just happen to have diversity, happen to have diverse people behind them. Make it about the star, which is the show. That is right. So we're gonna wrap it up. Yes. Okay. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.